Hi, Anna Napoli for the Finance News Network. And joining me now from Cyclofarm is CEO and Managing Director, James McBrayer. James, welcome back. Thanks, Anna. James, when we last spoke in April, you had just submitted a new drug application with the US FDA for your product, Technigas. Can you provide us with an update? Sure. Um, since that April update, uh, we've received a full waiver for the application in the U.S. of 2.9 million U.S. dollars. Uh, last week, we received uh, from the U.S. FDA uh, the designation of approval to file. Uh, and what that means is that they've reviewed our, our submission, uh, making sure that all of the aspects are, are contained in there required for the review. And now approval to file means they're going to start looking at it from a, a qualitative point of view of safety and efficacy. Uh, we've also been notified that um, the time period in which they're going to review it is a is a ten month time frame. Um, the the approval to file is significant and it gives us clarity on when we are likely to be available in the United States. And what is the NDA pathway for the FDA? And when might we hear further news? Well, we expect uh, over this ten month period to receive uh, questions from the FDA. Um, we'll typically have an audit, although. Uh, despite the fact that an FDA audit is a of a very high standard, we're present in 60 countries around the world, so we're no stranger to the rigors of an audit process. Um, we've commenced building our fleet of Technigas generators for launch once approval is granted. Uh, we've been engaging with key opinion leaders in the U.S. Uh, and leading clinical uh, centers interested in having the Technigas technology as early as possible. And we've also um, initiated our, our ground game in the U.S. to establish the infrastructure required uh, to launch our, our product there. James, I understand last week was quite the week for Cyclofarm. Mm. In addition to the progress with the U.S. FDA, you also announced receiving approval to market Technigas in Russia. Could you tell us more about the market size for Technigas and your marketing strategy? Yeah, we've been working on uh, approval in Russia, Anna, for the for the last 10 years. Uh, the timing's right, actually, to enter in that market. Over the past 10 years, Russia has invested heavily in upgrading their healthcare infrastructure, and nuclear medicine has been a beneficiary of that upgrade program. Um, the population of Russia is 144 million. Uh, there's approximately 200 nuclear medicine departments. Uh, this could grow into a significant market for, for Technogaz. We've got one one um, generator sold already um, through our partnership with uh, HASCCA, -H which is Healthcare and Science Consulting Communications Agency. We've been working with them for the last three years in getting the final steps in approval in, in Russia. Uh, and we expect that, you know, Russia is going to be one of the last significant markets outside of the U.S. that we've entered into. And we expect the good things beyond PE in Russia with a, a high incidence of COPD in that market. And turning to the use of Technigas in diagnosis and management of COVID-19, mm. how's it being used and where? Well, you know, I think imaging in general uh, worldwide, you know, we've seen a decrease. Uh, Non-essential procedures, issues about access of personal protection equipment has been an issue. And, and we still don't know what the full impact will be with, uh, with this particular pandemic, but we expect the first half of uh, the, we'll see maybe a slightly cooling of our, our volumes, um, but we do note that restrictions ha are starting to be lifted in some of the markets where we're present. Um, we know that functional imaging with Technigas has a place to play in this particular pandemic, uh, although that the front line is currently CT and X-ray, there's things you can't see with those modalities that you can identify through nuclear medicine. We do know that in, in markets where Technogas is available and there's a high incidence of COVID that our, our products being used in those markets. In fact, in April, uh, the image of the month for at the European uh, Journal of Nuclear Medicine featured a, a patient in a, in a French study showing the utility of Technogas in, in diagnosing uh, what's called uh, tracheobronchitis. Um, those French same authors um, participated in a webinar last week uh, emphasizing the unique characteristics of Technogas in, in working with, with COVID patients. Last question, James. Is there anything else you'd like to add? 
Well, you know, we've um, last week was a was a huge week for us. I mean, we underscored our our focus on our core business with the entrance in into a new market, uh, Russia. We saw webinars and clinical journal publications that that underscore the benefit the, and potential for Technogas in patients suffering from COVID nineteen. Uh, we've received clarity uh, regarding the expected timeline for U.S. FDA approval. Uh, and last but not least, we're very pleased for our shareholders and most importantly, the, the patients Technogas can help during these um, challenging times. James McBrayer, thank you for the update. Thanks, Anna.